Welcome to the Battle of the Books competition for the 2019-2020 school year. I'm Melissa Scheffler from KWCH, your host for this program. Joining me are student teams from Allen, Beach, Black, and Price Harris Elementary Schools. These teams have already competed in preliminary rounds at their schools in order to appear on today's program. We're looking forward to some exciting games today. Now, students were given a list of 64 books to read. They need to be familiar with events, characters, and authors of the books to answer the questions. They will also give a book talk about one title from the list. Each team has drawn a book title and was given 15 minutes to prepare a three-minute presentation about the book. These book talks were taped earlier and will be seen later in the program. 12 points are possible for the book talk. The points will be added to the scores in all of the rounds. All right, so the first two teams to compete are Allen and Beach. Students, would you introduce yourselves and tell us about the favorite title of the book that you like? And we're going to start over here with Beach with Julian. Okay, my name is Julian and my favorite book is Bad Guys. Bad Guys, okay. Uh, my name is Delora, and my favorite book is The Blackthorn Key. Hi, my name is Sarai, and my favorite book is Smiles. My name is Sergio, and my favorite book is Big Nate Blast Off. All right, and over here to Alan. Start with you, Michaela. My name is Michaela, and my favorite book is Real Friends by Shannon Hill. My name is Anissa, and my favorite book is The Three Rules of Everyday Magic by Amanda Hill. My name is Angeline, and my favorite book is The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors by Drew Daywalt. Hi, my name is Moria Jose. My favorite book is Big Nate Blast Off by Lincoln Pierce. All right, and just a reminder, guys, you did great introducing yourselves. Make sure you speak into those mics and loud enough for the judges to hear you, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll review the rules so that the audience will know how the game is played. Each match will consist of 20 questions given to alternating teams. Team members have 30 seconds to answer. They may confer about the answer, but only the person with the book may say the answer. Five points will be awarded for a correct title, with five points added if the team can also name the author. If the team cannot answer the question or the answer is incorrect, the other team is allowed five seconds to give an answer. Five points will be awarded for the correct title. The winning team in the first round will compete against the winning team of the second round for our final match. First, let's take a look at the book talks from our first two competing teams. Thank you for choosing Uber. How may I help you? <laughs> We're heading to Allen Elementary, please. Well, that sounds like a great school. What are you up to today? We're going to the library for a book study. Hmm. What book are you guys reading? We're reading Big Night Blast Off by Lincoln Pierce. What is the characters? The characters are Teddy, Nate, Randy, and Francis. Mm, what is what was the setting? And inside the school and outside. Mm, what was the story about? In the beginning, Nate had a crush on the new girl and also did his bully. In the middle, his bully wanted to take revenge at him, so he shook a root beer and gave it to the new girl to give to give to Nate. At the end, Nate and his bully finally decided how to figure it out. So they did a mud bowl and the teams were Bobcats and Jeffersons in the Bobcats one. Thank, this thank is the you. end of our book talk. Thank you. Somebody's talking. Um, uh, this is channel 24. Uh, we just the kids are buzzing about this book called Grump, and the 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 author is Shirtleg, and um, the characters are Grump, uh, Queen Elfrida, Florian, the Six Doors, and Snow White. The setting of Grump is is on Earth and underground. Oh, my God. Um, the problem of the story is that uh, the ground went under, uh, went above ground, 
which is a forbidden law, and um, uh, met a human, and um, who was named Snow White, and Queen Elfrida was trying to uh, kill Snow White, and and the solution was that the the Grump and the Dwarfs got along, and Grump, the Dwarfs, and Prince Florian defeated Queen Elfrida and saved Snow White. This concludes our segment of the book talk. Alan earned 12 points on their book talk and Beach earned 10 points. They will start the round with those scores. The team from Alan will answer the first question. So let's get started, Alan and Michaela. Here's our first question. In which nonfiction book does the main character learn at a young age that doing what you love could set your spirit soaring? Her love is designing clothes. Fancy, what? Fancy, dressing gowns. Fancy, 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 dressing, dressing gowns. gowns. That would be incorrect. You guys have a chance to steal. No chance? Okay, it was fancy party gowns. That would have done it. All right. So let's, we're going to stay over here with Beach for the next question. The youngest son in this book shows compassion for others by making sure that his father gets carrots for the rabbits that only eat vegetables. Name the book. Mr. and Mrs. Bunny, uh, Detective Extraordinary. That would be incorrect. You guys have a chance for a steal. Mr. Fox? That would be incorrect because it's fantastic, Mr. Uh, Fox. Make sure you pass that book down, Michaela. Okay, to Anissa now. And we're going to start with question three. Julie Marie is sent away to live with her auntie. She tells her best friend that she cannot go to school to be a doctor, but she encourages her to keep pursuing the dream even though they can't do it together. Name the book. You guys see it? Real Friends by Shannon Hell. That's incorrect. You guys have a chance for a steel beach. Gertie's Le Journey's Leap to Greatness. That's incorrect. It's Serafina's Promise by Anne E. Berg. All right, and we will stay over here. In which book does the weather go from warm and sunny to a terrible snowstorm very quickly? Um, Hurricane Watch by Melissa Stewart. That's incorrect. You guys have a chance for a steal. Wait, wait. Um, the, the, the blizzard? The blizzard. Uh, it's so close. The children's blizzard, 1888. We got it. That time goes by quickly, guys, doesn't it? Okay. And I think, did you guys move the book or do we need to move it down? We're good? Okay, move one more down, okay, to Angeline there. In which book does a young girl imagine her father and brothers talking to her during a quest? We haven't read it. Okay, you guys have a chance for a steal. No answer over here? No. Judge, is it okay if I reveal? Mm -hmm. It is the Mad Wolf's Daughter. Okay, and we will stay over here. In which book does a shoe manufacturer use double-walled canvas high tops to support athletes' ankles? Chuck Taylor by Rebecca Felis. That is correct. You earn 10 points with that one, Beach. All right, Alan, here we go. Make sure you move that book. In which book do you read that a grandmother signs her granddaughters up for music classes to keep them out of trouble? Ada's Violin? That's correct. Do you have an author? We don't have an author. Okay, you got earned five points though. It was Susan Hood. 
Okay, Sergio, you have the book now. And which book do you read about the layers of the earth? Rocks and Minerals by and Simon. That is correct. You earned 10 points over there, Beach. But, uh, the book's back up here. In which book do you read about Chuck Yeager flying the Bell X-1 faster than the speed of sound? No answer. You guys have a chance for a steal. Who was Neil Armstrong by Edwards? You earned five points for that steal, and we'll keep that book right where it is. All right, Beach. In which book do you learn how clouds are formed? Hurricane Watch by uh, Stuart. That's incorrect. You guys have a chance for a steal. No answer. Okay, A Drop of Water by Walter Wick. This is question 11. And we're going to stay here with you guys. In which book do the characters end up in a camp and live in a rice bag house? No answer. No answer. You guys have a chance. The Red Pencil by Pinkney. That's correct. You earned five points over there, Beach. And we will keep the book right there. Make sure you guys are moving your book too, okay? This is question 12 for Beach. In which book do spiders bring good luck? Spider wick. That is incorrect. You guys have a chance for a steal. Okay, it's Sudoku and the Thousand Paper Cranes. Question 13 stays over here with Alan. In what book do you read about three high school students traveling to J J Japan? No answer. No answer? Do you guys have a steal? No. It is 30 minutes over Oregon, a Japanese pilot's World War II story. Question 14 stays over here with Beach. In this book, Anna's parents received a special gift for their wedding that was delivered by a horse-drawn cart. Name the book. The Blessing Cup. That's correct. Do you have an author? Polacco. You earned 10 points for that one. Nice job, Beach. Alan, here we go. The question 15. After finding Amelia, the dog decided it was his job to stay close by and help Sam keep track of his little sister. Name the book. How to Steal a Dog. How to Steal a Dog. That is incorrect. Do you guys have a steal? Okay. It is Rescue on the Oregon Trail. Question 16 stays over here to Beach. This graphic novel follows four characters on their quest for redemption. Name the book. Big Nate Blast Off by Pierce. That is incorrect. You guys have a chance for a steal. It is the bad guys. Question 17 stays over here with Alan. This artist started visiting the American Museum of Natural History when he was five years old to study the shapes and figures all around him. In which book? We don't have an answer. You guys have a chance? Oh, do you, wait, do we have it? We're, do you have an answer? What is Doll people. What is it? Doll people. That is incorrect. You guys have a chance to steal? Um, Tigers and Tila Toppy by Curly. That is correct. You earned five points for that steal. All right. Question 18 stays with Beach. This huge spinning storms, let me repeat that. These huge spinning storms usually form in the Atlantic Ocean in August, September, or October. Hurricane, Name the book where you learn this information. Hurricane Watch by, uh, Melissa Stewart. That is correct. You earned 10 points over there, Beach. Alan, question 19. Name the book where the main character used scraps from a junkyard to solve his problem. Um, I read this. Do you got anything? 
No answer. No answer? Do you guys have a, an answer for a steal? No. It is violin. No, it is the boy who harnessed the wind. And we will stay over here with Beach for the last question. Name the book that had a blizzard that lasted for several years. It's your turn. Uh, well, yeah, but, okay, The Children's Blizzard of 1888. That's incorrect. You guys have a chance for a steal over here. No answer. No answer. It is Paul Bunyan, A Tall Tale. I remember reading that one when I was a kid. All right. So that concludes our round. We want to say good job to you guys. We're going to tally those scores and get back to you guys in a second. Okay. So did you guys have fun doing that? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Do you have any books that you like that you think that could be a good movie? That's always my favorite question yeah, to ask. Like the bad guys. You like that? Yeah. Oh, so that was one of your books, but you forgot to uh -huh. that, the answer to that question. Uh -huh. Darn. Yeah. Why do you think that'd be a good movie? Because like when adventure. Yeah, like the adventures they yeah. have in them. You thought that was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if they had it in 3D though. Oh, oh that'd no. be cool. No. Why would it have been yeah. too much? They have a lot of fighting in it. Yeah, because like in they break the dogs out of jail. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. In the pound. Yeah, because like when uh oh what else was it um uh. On the uh, uh, the big bad wolf. Yeah. Uh, um. Uh, the Mr. Wolf. He turned. He they they went into a portal before that. Okay. And um. Uh, what was uh, the guinea pig? What was? I don't know. The, it was uh, the guinea pig. And so it's a cool book. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think we have our scores in, guys. All right, so here we go. The final score in this game for was 17 for Allen and 65 for Beach. Congratulations to Beach. You did a great job. You will meet the winner of our next match in the final round of the Battle of the Books. So let's take a look at the book talks from the teams in round two. Madeline and Macy, have you heard of the new book called The Bad Guys? Yeah. Mm. No. Abby, could you tell us the characters? The characters are Mr. Snake, Mr. Piranha, Mr. Shark, and Mr. Wolf. Have you heard of that yet? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Abby, could you also tell us the author? The author's last name is Blabby. Okay. Um, Madeline, do you still not know it? Mm -hmm. Abby, could you tell us the problem? The problem is that the bad guys want to be good and they want to do good deeds, but um, it's hard for them. So one good deed they're trying to do is let all the chickens out of the chicken jail. Okay. Um, Madeline, do you know that what um, the upcoming to the solution is? Yes. Um, Mr. Shark dresses up as a woman to distract the bodyguard and Mr. Wolf goes through the vents to let the chickens go free. Very nice. Um, Macy, do you know what the solution is? Yes. The wolf goes to the chicken jail and lets all the chickens out of jail. Very good. And that concludes our interview. Oh, sorry. Could you please tell us the setting, all of you? Um, the, the setting is the town and, and the, the chicken, chicken jail. jail. And that concludes our interview. Thank you very much. Good morning, class. How was the book? At the bo the title is At the Bottom of the World by Bill Nye. Mallory, can you tell me the characters? The characters were Jack, Ava, Matt, Dr. Hank Wither Witherspoon, and Anna. The setting was Antarctica. Absolutely. Can you tell me a fact about it? Yes. The way they met Hank Witherspoon 
is that Ava accidentally crashed her drone into a mysterious building, which turned out to be Hank Witherspoon's building. Good job, class. I think you guys got an A on your test. The competitors in our next round are from Black and Price Harris Elementary Schools. We want them to tell us their names and the title of their favorite book. We're going to start over here with Price Harris. My name is Apple Stolen, and my favorite book is Jack and the Geniuses by Bill Nye. My name is Mallory, and my favorite book is Out of My Mind. My name is Blake, and my favorite book is Wings of Fire. My name is Jordan, and my favorite book is Room One. Over here to Black now. My name is Macy and my favorite book is Grump by Liesl Shirtliff. Okay. My name is Hunter and my favorite book is Real Friends by Shannon Hale. My name is Madden and my favorite book is my favorite book is Grump also. My name is Abby and my favorite book is Thirty Minutes Over Oregon. All right, thank you so much, everyone. Nice meeting you all, and we are so excited that you're here and ready to compete. So Black will begin the round with eight points, and Price Harris starts with nine points from their book talks. The Black team will answer the first question. So here we go with our next rounds of questions. Over here to Black, question one. Jared sets a trap for the Bogart using a bowl of milk and flour sprinkled all over the floor, hoping that he'll see the creature's footprints and be able to find and capture it. Name this book. No answer. Do you guys have a chance for steel? The Field Guide by, by Black and Dicholisi. Well, you earned five points there for the steel. You got both of those correct, though. So we will stay over here with Price Harris, keep that book there. The main character in this book bravely walks to her mother's home only to find out that the man she is marrying has two daughters of his own. Name the book. No answer. Okay, you guys have a chance to steal. Okay, it was Gertie's Leap to Greatness. And we are going to stay over here with Black. Name the book in which the author explained that he has a great deal in common with the main character. No answer. Okay, chance for a steal over here, Price Harris. No answer. All right, Big Nate blast off. We're going to move on to question four with Price Harris. In this book, Keek thinks he is helping his aunt by washing dishes, except he washes them in a clothes washer, not a dishwasher, and they all break. What is the title of this book? Home of the Brave by Applegate. Ten points for you. Congratulations, Price Harris. All right, Black. Question five. Beans, pork chop, slow poke, and old rope are just a few of the nicknames of characters in which book? Turtles in Paradise oh. by oh. Jennifer Holm. Will we accept that? Say the title again. Turtles in Paradise mm -hmm. by Jennifer Horn. 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 Holm. Okay, it is Turtle in Paradise, and you do have the author correct, Jennifer Holm. Ten points is awarded to you. All right, Price Harris. In which book do we find the survivors of the wrecked phoenix abandoned by their first mate who leaves in the only inflatable raft? Shipwreck by Corman. Congratulations. Ten points over here, Price Harris. Black, back to you. In this book, you will find the main character trapped in a tree without his sword and armor. Using his wit, he is able to outsmart his captor and escape the tree unharmed. Name the book. Sir Lancelot the Great by Joe Morris. Full, full title. Oh, The Amazing Sir Lancelot by Joe Morris. Not quite. You guys have an opportunity to steal. The Adventures of Sir Lancelot by Morris. No. Great. The Great. Okay. It is The Adventures of Sir Lancelot the Great. 
It's a lot to remember, isn't it? All right, we're going to stick over here with Price Harris. A clothespin and apricot are defeated by a character from this book. Name the book. A clothespin and apricot are defeated by a character from this book. Name the book. The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors by Day Walt. That is correct. Ten points to you guys. Black, here's your opportunity. Question nine. In what book does the main character never give up on her dream to study mathematics, even if it meant she had to pretend to be a man, study at home by candlelight, and secretly acquire notes from a math class? Nothing stops Sophie. That's correct. You have a tie or an author? No. Okay, it was Cheryl Bardo, but you did earn five points over there. Congratulations to you, Black. Okay, guys, question 10, Price Harris. Eddie warned the family that the further south they traveled on their way to Alabama, the more dangerous it would be because of the Jim Crow laws. Name the book. Um, Ruth and the Green Book by Ramsey. Ruth and the Green Book by Ramsey. Ten points for you guys. Black, here's question 11. The main character in this book rides her tricycle inside the house. Name the book. Beezus and Ramona by Beverly Cleary. Ten points for you guys. Congratulations. I like that book too. All right, Price Harris. At the end of this book, Miss Mack comes back from Brazil to visit the class. Even though the class hamster has wanted her back the entire school year, he realized the class needed him more than Miss Mack. Name this book. The World According to hum Humphrey. And do you have an author? No. It's Betty Burney, but you earned five points there for the title. All right, Black. In which book does the main character keep a horse statue, swimming medals, and a stuffed bear in a plastic bag? Reckless. That is incorrect. You guys have a chance to steal this one. Um, no answer. It is How to Steal a Dog by Barbara O'Connor. And we will stay over here with Price Harris. Question 14. When the main character of this book finally had a conversation with Stanley Mason, she discovered that the two of them had a lot in common. A lot in common. They both love marine life and they both love to draw. Name the book. Stella Diaz has something to say by Dominguez. That is correct. Ten points awarded to you, Price Harris. Black, question 15. Which book has a three-piece band consisting of a set of bagpipes, a pump organ, and an accordion played by three sisters? The Three Rules of Everyday Magic. That is incorrect. Do you guys have a chance for a steal? No answer. Rosie Revere and the Rackus Riveters. All right. And we're going to stay over here for, for uh, the next question, 16. Price Harris, in which book does Mr. Okax tell the mice that porcupines are mouse eaters and that he is their only protection? Poppy by Advi. That's correct. Ten points awarded to you guys. Question 17 for Black. A rich girl and a poor girl are good friends, starting junior high in this book. Name the book. Real Friends by Shannon Hale. That is incorrect. You guys have a chance for a steal, Price Harris? No answer. Sammy Kia's in The Hotel Thief. So we're going to stay over here with Price Harris. The girl in this book is in her first year of middle school and has become embarrassed of her best friend, Franklin. Name this book. <clears throat> Eight Keys by Lafleur. Eight Keys by Lafleur. You earn 10 points for the title and author. Black, over here for question 19. In which book do we learn that the Great Sphinx guarded important areas? <clears throat> Ancient Egypt by Drim. Drimmer. Ten points awarded to you guys. Congratulations on that. And the last question goes to Price Harris. In the beginning of this book, one of the main characters needs white shoes in order to attend her graduation ceremony and receive her awards. Name the book. No answer. Okay, you guys have a chance for Steel Black? No answer. All right, it is Mr. and Mrs. Bunny Detectives Extraordinaire. And that concludes that second round. How did you guys think you did?
good. good. All right. So I asked the last round what they think the best book would be to be turned into a movie, and we can ask questions while they're, the judges are calculating your scores. Is there a book that you guys read that you thought would make a really good movie? Let's start over here at Black. Grum. Why? Because it's about, it's a tale from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, but they turned it into, like, Snow White is still a young girl. Oh, very nice. What about you? Anyone else? Um, 30 Minutes Over Oregon. And, oh, and why do you think that would be a good one? Um, because it has lots of, like, information. I just think, like, all the action would be really Maybe cool. people could learn a little bit from it, too, right? You? Um, Sudoku and the Thousand Paper Cranes. Yeah. I just like the book. This is a good book. Probably has some good visuals. And you? Uh, I think 30 Minutes Over Oregon. It's the same book, huh? Okay. What about you guys? Uh, Big Nate Blast Off. Okay. Uh, Real Friends. And why is that? Um, because... It's sort of all about friendships and figuring things out, so I think it would make a good movie. Okay, I think our scores are back in, so thank you so much, guys, for chatting with us. We're going to reveal some of these scores here. Um, are you guys all ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. The score in this round was 43 for Black and 89 for Price Harris. Congratulations to Price Harris Elementary. You will meet the winner of the first round for the championship match. While we change teams our, for our final round here, let's see if you can answer some of those questions about last year's books. Ready to start our final battle here. The winner of this round will be one of our champions for the 2019-2020 school year. The teams are from Beach and Price Harris Elementary Schools. Good luck to both teams and we're ready to go. And we are going to start with Beach today. Question one. In this novel, the main characters were looking for the King of Jazz in Jackson Square, Bourbon Street, and the French Quarter in New Orleans. Name the book. A Good Night for Ghosts by Mary Pope Osborne. That's correct. Ten points is awarded to you, Beach. Over here for question number two goes to Price Harris. In which book is the main character at the whim of anyone who grabs him by the beard? Grump by Shirtliff. That's correct. Ten points to you. Moving on. Question three. When the main character was running away from some other kids, he ended up at a magic store where he bought a multicolored ball for a quarter. Name this book, Beach. Jeremy Thatcher, Dragon Hatcher by Coville. That is correct. Ten points awarded to you. Price Harris, question four. In which book do the main characters sneak out during the karaoke wars at Gallagher's Pub? No answer. No answer. Chance for a steal. No answer. No answer, Beach. Okay, it's at the bottom of the world. 
And we're going to stay over here with Beach for question five. Using an old jump rope, Tiffany was able to save Annabelle's papa when he was stuck behind an armoire. Name this book. The Doll People. That's correct. You have an author. Martin. Ten points is awarded to you, Beach. Price Harris, name the book that tells the story of Ted Hammond, a sixth grade student who is trying to solve the mystery of the face in the window. Room one by Clements. Room one by Clements. Ten points awarded to you, Price Harris. Congratulations, Beach. Kate's grandma tells her she must believe, give, and trust to change her life and reestablish contact with loved ones who aren't as close to her as they once were. Name the book. Dirty Sleep to Greatness. That is incorrect. We're over here for a chance to steal, Price Harris. All right, time has run out. It is the three rules of everyday magic. And we will stay over here with Price Harris for question eight. In what book does a horse eat anything that people give her, including chocolate and Coca-Cola? Sergeant Reckless by McCormick and Bruno. That is correct. You've earned 10 points. Let's move over here to Beach. In which book does a woman see that law books reflect real life stories of people? Um, uh, turning pages. Okay, and do you have an author? Sotomayor. That's correct. We'll take that one. Ten points to you. Congratulations, Beach. Bryce Harris, this is question 10. In this book, Shannon learns that being popular doesn't always mean that a person is happy. What is the title of this book? Real Friends by Hale. Real Friends by Hale. Ten points is awarded to you. Beach, this is your next question. In which fiction book does the reader also learn facts about world treasures such as the Mona Lisa and the Hope Diamond? Samantha Spinner and the Super Secret Plans by Gins. That is correct. Ten points to you, Beach. Price Harris, lying in their hospital beds at night, Dorothy, Shirley, Renee, and Alice sing songs to cheer themselves up. Name the book. No answer. No answer. Do you guys have a chance to steal, Beach? Polio? That is incorrect. The answer is small steps. And we will stay over here, Beach. In which book does one of the main characters cheer up her friend by buying her a purple popsicle? No answer. No answer? You guys have a chance to steal, Price Harris. Sammy Keys in the Hotel Thief by Sam Tran. No, Van Tran. Van Tran. That is incorrect. The answer is Meet Denitra Brown. And we will stay over here with Price Harris. This is question 14. In which book do you read about Juan Seguin, a Latino captain in the Texan army? Alamo All Stars by Hale. That is correct. Ten points. Congratulations, Price Harris. Beach. In which book does a woman overcome the tragic loss of her husband and live to the age of 97 throughout which she upheld her husband's historical legacy, was devoted to her family, and to taking care of those less fortunate than herself? Mm, no answer. No answer. We have a chance to steal over here, Price Harris. No answer. It's Elza, the story of Elizabeth Schuchler Hamilton. All right, we're going to stay over here with Price Harris. In which book does the story take place during World War I? Thirty Minutes Over Oregon by Nobleman. That is incorrect. You have a chance to steal, Beach. When he's get Great War. That is correct. You earned five points in that steal. Congratulations. And we will stay with Beach. In this book, the youngest boy is excited to get a dog named Jake. Let me think, let me think. 
thir three uh, rolls of everyday magic? That is incorrect. You guys have a chance to steal. How to steal dog by O'Connor. That is incorrect. It's a family apart. And we will stay over here with Price Harris for question 18. In which book does a duckling see his reflection in a pond and realize he is a swan? The Ugly Duckling by Pinkney. That is correct. Ten points awarded to you. Congratulations, Price Harris Beach. Here's question 19. In which book do you read that a toy is still made in the U.S. today and that more than 250 million have been produced? The Marvelous Thing That Came From a Spring by Ford. That is correct. Ten points. Congratulations. Price Harris, you have the last question here. In what book do four children build a swimming pool out of a brook with flat stones and logs? Boxcar Children by Warner. That is correct. You have earned 10 points on that one. That was a good round, guys. Congratulations. Yeah. I think that's going to be a tight one no matter what. So we will have to wait to see what those scores are. All right. So you guys obviously read those books. You did a good job. So I want to know, we're going to go through, and I'll start with you guys because I didn't make it through the other time with them. How did you break up these books, and did everyone read a certain amount? How did you do that? Uh, like, we split we all, up the list. There were four right. different lists. I green. did blue. I did red. She did blue. She did green. And, and I did, did purple. purple. So you all read them all, right? Yeah. yeah. What about well, you guys? What was your tactic? We... You know, like, so in the first competition, we had different... We, we all had different lists, and then... <clears throat> Sorry, for this competition, the how we studied was we all switched lists with each other. That's so that, right. I remember you yeah, saying that earlier. So, so that if one person didn't didn't get it, and so the the other person would go, oh, we have. That makes total yeah, sense. Yeah. Okay, so did how did you enjoy reading them? Did you read them all like at home? At what was home. your favorite place to read? Uh, in my room or on my couch. Yeah. yeah. What about you down there, Sergio? On my bed. On your bed. Just in your room for the most part. What about you guys? Favorite places to read? Um, probably on the couch. Couch. My, my desk um, in my room. Oh, in the guest room. That's about to become my room. <laughs> so it's quiet in there, right? Yes. What about you guys? My desk in my room. Yeah. Jordan. School. School. You get a lot of work done there at school, right? Okay. Well, that's. I think my favorite place to read is probably anywhere that's quiet, right? Because it's hard to get a quiet place anymore these days. Well, you guys all did a great job. I think we are ready to announce the winner. The score in our tournament today, 75 for Beach Elementary and 79 for Price Harris Elementary. So very close scores there. Our winner today is Price Har Harris Elementary. Congratulations, guys. I'm going to give you your prizes here. And it looks like you're all very excited, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, so first I'm going to pass down these really cool medals. Battle of the Book Medals, which I'm assuming passed them all the way down. It says read to succeed on them, so you guys are going to keep reading, right? Yep. Okay. Are you going to compete next year? Can you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You get these cool bags, which I have a feeling there's a book in there, if I had to take a guess. All right. We'll pass all those down. Keep it going. Make sure you show off your medals at school. All right, and congratulations, guys. You guys had a really tight game. That was, what, only four points difference? Is that what the final? So really good job. And way to go again. Your dedication and teamwork throughout the year was a great accomplishment. We're proud of you and all the students who participated on the teams in our schools. Thanks for your efforts, and thank you also to the library and classroom teachers and parents and for all those who have contributed to this. All right, join us again tomorrow at 11 here on WPS-TV Cox Cable Channel 20 or usd259.org slash wpstvonline to see other, another exciting Battle of the Books competition and keep reading.